welcome back to Tricky Trivia on a very special edition of Try Guys Game Time. Today we're playing Tipsy Trivia. We're doing boozy questions about the wonderful wide world of alcohol. Drink responsibly. And they get it. Today we're playing boozy trivia. That's right, the boys are getting crunk. For every answer you get right today, you get an alcoholic beverage. That's right, we're not playing for consequences, we're playing for consequences. I love bad ideas. And pouring the drinks today, we have our bartender, Morgan. Woo! Hi, Morgan. So excited to make you these drinks. Morgan, what's the, your specialty cocktail? I'm really into the Mezcal Palomas these days. Mezcal, it is. too challenging for me. Smoky. <laughs> he likes it Smoky. simple. Smoky, he just likes the white bread of <laughs> like it's it's smoke. It's it's smoke. Easy. Contestants, introduce yourselves. My name is David Dang, and my favorite beverage of choice is whiskey neat. I think that's called a shot. I'm trying to be a lady. My name is Matt, and my favorite drink is Sauvignon Blanc. My name's Ned, and last time I got drunk in the office, I, uh, Eugene's mom wouldn't talk to me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she still hasn't. <gasps> I like Chardonnay. My name is Keith. I like old fashions. I like bourbon, but I'm also a beer boy from time to time. All right, you guys ready for round one? Yes. Let's do Woo! it. Question one. Which country consumes the largest volume of wine? A, France. B, Italia. C, España, or D, United States of America. Oh no, this is tough. Dang, all of them like that. I mean, one. especially if it's not per capita. If it's not per capita, it's you volume. gotta think the USA has just a pure numbers chance. If this changes your answer, which I won't, uh, the answer is measured in hectoliters, which is Ooh. something I didn't know was a thing. Um, I'm gonna change my answer to, uh, Try and put some uh, flavor of stank on it. Okay, David, we'll start with you. <laughs> well, I was a TikTok fan during the pandemic, so if you said 2020, and I saw a lot of people doing alcoholic TikToks, I'm gonna say a D. David United was getting States. drunk alone in his apartment during the pandemic. Uh, D yeah. for David. American. <laughs> I said USA. Like I said, my little factoid, I think Costco is the largest distributor of wine in the world. That's kind of what I thought too, but I had to go with my gut and give it a little flavor of stank. Frankly, my dear, give me a drink. <laughs> That's France, if you're nasty. <laughs> well, I went with Spain, and let me Spain. So I <laughs> don't hear a lot from Spain, so I assume they're all just drunk on wine all the time, yeah. because when was the last time you heard anything out of there? With 33 million hectoliters in 2020, the United States drinks the most wine. Congratulations. Woo! David and Matt, you get a drink. Game time. Bring in the beers. 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 Little oh. beers for you. Oh, and then, wow. I love that stank. You get a little oh, sip. Oh, my bonus point? You get a little sip. Wow. Try guys, gay time. Try guys, gay time. <laughs> Relax your throat. All right, question two. Which of these statements is False. These are tough. That means three of these are facts, and one is a mother lie. A, white wine can be made from red grapes. B, whiskey starts out clear. C, tequila can only come from Mexico. Or D, wine always improves with age. All right, you guys got an answer? Do you need the answers again? I got one. I um, got an answer. What, uh, David? Oh, I'm going first. C. How Te come? I think tequila can be made anywhere. I mean, I know tequila in Mexico is the best, but... Tequila's a state of mind, David says. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said D, wine. <laughs> That's why I drew a wine glass. Because some wines are meant to be drunk soon after they've been produced and not have to age that much. Yeah, I agree with you, Matt. Some things don't get better with age. He's looking at you. I've been to a distillery. Whiskey does start clear. And I've been to Mexico where my driver said with enthusiasm that tequila can only be made in Mexico. <gasps> oh, David. It's sort of like a France champagne thing. So, and I know that some wine goes bad at some point. So I went with wine isn't necessarily always getting better with age. The correct answer is D. Uh, wow. While it's believed that wine gets better with age, it's a widespread misconception that it always improves with age. Depends mm -hmm. on the wine. Uh, let's get some drinks for the fellas. 
Yeah. Glug, 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 glug. It depends on your storage method. Aging wine does transform it, but does not categorically improve it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, cheers. Cheers. We'll see. We'll see if he does. Wieners. All right, I'm on the board. Let's do this. Question three. Which of these beverages originally contained alcohol? A, soft drinks. Mm. B, milkshakes. C, 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 c coffee. Or D, tonic water. This is fun. <laughs> That's a tough one. That is good. I thought you were going to say like a Shirley Temple I or really something. I really wanted to be milkshakes. Not only is this an easy round, this is easy one. It says easy in big letters. <laughs> They're, they're taking long. They're, I know. Uh, why don't we go backwards? Keith. I'm going to go with milkshakes, B, because they used to have malted milkshakes, and malt liquor is the thing, and maybe those shared a baby at one point. I also guess milkshakes. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Oh <laughs> Good enunciation on that. Um, I said D, tonic water, you know? Why? Because <laughs> I feel like it seems like it's the most obvious, and he said it was the easiest question. Oh. I felt that same yeah. way. Oh, so dang. I said, like next level. Hey, <laughs> to context I have, there's no reason behind it. I feel like malt, I thought about that too. Tonic water, I also thought about. Um, which, which answer didn't coffee. you think about? I, know, I, don't, I, I don't know, I think. <laughs> the answer is, I drink your milkshake. Yeah. I drink it up. Yeah. Yeah. In the 1800s, milkshakes were a type of eggnog made with whiskey, which added flavor. And then by the 1900s, they replaced it, started giving it to kids. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. And the final question of round one. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Honestly, I feel like great. Good. I feel good. I feel cozy. I yeah. only drank one, so I'm feeling great. Got two thirds right, and the one I got wrong, I still got bonus points. So I'm three <laughs> for three in my book. You might be in the lead. The earliest evidence of alcohol production dates back to which period of history? A, the Stone Age. B, the Bronze Age. C, the Iron Age. D, the Industrial Age. Or E, Mark Summer Bash. Hey. Oh, what's the year? Yes. the years to those? I'm sure can. <laughs> <laughs> if I know. Well, it can't be Stone Age, because that's when they started smoking weed. So what is ah, nice? <laughs> In order question? to make alcohol, you have to be a farming civilization. I think in yeah, the Stone Age, true. things were still hunter-gatherer mostly. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to guess Bronze Age. I'm just throwing that out there. If, <laughs> if anyone <laughs> wants to follow my, you know, ride this dragon with me, <laughs> that's cool. It's definitely not Industrial Age. That's dumb answer. <laughs> That's too late. Why yeah. not? Because people were drinking wine in the Renaissance, man. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. I'm going with Stone Age. I think people have been getting drunk as early as they ever existed. Love that answer. Ned? Uh, I think Heath's right, but I, yeah, I already explained myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew he was going with bronze, so then I went with iron, you know? Mix it up. So if someone gets it wrong, at least someone I'm else going, get it right. And I'm going Stone Age because I feel moonshine was like the dawn of time. Chemical analysis confirmed that the earliest alcoholic beverage in the world was a mixed fermented drink of rice, honey, and hawthorn fruit and or grape. Dated 7,000 to 6,600 BCE, it was in the Stone Age. Oh, yes. Dang it. Dang Who knew? Dude. Stone Age. My parents uh, are jungle Asians, so. We've been getting up a long, long time. time for a long wow. time. I'm really trying not to win this episode. That was, not, that was my first impulse, and then I talked my Why way out of it. Okay, I had a dinner plans after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get drunk, but I'm trying to choose the answer. I think it's just funny. You need a guest shot? <laughs> I guess I don't know what's going to happen today. <laughs> Wow, well at the end of the first round, Keith is running away Keith with, it with three points. Everyone else is tied with two. Welcome to round two, but before we get started, let's do a check-in with the guys. Let's see your best dance move. Oh, ben. I don't think I'm drunk enough for that. I'm with drunk. <clears throat> I've been working on this one. I've <laughs> been working on this, the, I, I think it's a really good one. Do you go like? That's nice. I'm really into that move. Yeah, you guys like good. that move? Yeah. I feel band. like that's a good one. The shimmy uh, jump. My best, my best shimmy shimmy move is probably just a body roll. Whoa. Ooh, I got a good view. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I for me. am feeling something. Oh, good. <laughs> <clears throat> and well, it's 
vomit. Well, we've been playing this game for a little bit now. Um, no, my how pants! Long, how long does it actually take for the brain to start reacting to alcohol? <sighs> oh, I Is it A, this. six minutes, B, 12 minutes, C, 17 minutes, D, 23 minutes, or E, 925,600 <laughs> That was a good one. How long does it take for the brain to start reacting to alcohol? Can I phone a friend? <laughs> no. Morgan, but... Morgan, what do you think? <laughs> you can oh phone God. a friend, yeah, but not about this. Right. I'm ready, I got an answer. I got an answer. Start to react. Is to react. The... I think it takes A, six minutes. Bam, A, six minutes. A, a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say 12 minutes. I feel this was like in a DMV video. They did a study that did show that alcohol reaches your brain in only five minutes and starts to affect you within 10. The answer is A, six minutes. Oh my God. Wow. Let's get okay. some wine for the boys. Minutes. You guys, I'm gonna be sober. A couple minutes. Minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cheers. For sure. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like a true winner like a loser? because I'm not, oh. oh. Wow. Oh, Matt. When the turtleneck partner turns against you, just to let you know, watch your backs. Round one, we had small pours of beer. And in round two, we have full wine glasses. <laughs> Seems like it, yeah. Like, drink responsibly. Let us state we're getting Ubers for everybody. But, oh. Sponsored by Penzino. The winner of today's challenge is not getting an Uber home. It's a new car. Rather, a limo ride. A limo ride home. Right. Oh. No. So we have to win. We have to win. We have to win. Next question. Which former president was once also a licensed bartender? Oh. The sax man himself, Bill Clinton. Oh. Ronald Reagan, the actor? Theodore Roosevelt, no joke for that. <laughs> or Abraham Lincoln? A licensed bartender? Maybe yeah, that's license a is a clue. Were they really giving out licenses in the 1800s? I don't think there's licenses Maybe now. to like, podiatrists. <laughs> Should we be asking for that while we go to bars? Good old fashioned Abraham drinking, complete with hat and chin beard and mole on letter D right here. A little flavor on that. Bill Clinton. Why? I don't know, man. She makes questionable choices. <laughs> He's a jazz guess. musician. Musicians just, gotta take extra jobs. I feel like it's Ronald Reagan because he's like the most conservative, like the most like buttoned up. Ironic because he had the war on drugs. That's what I mean. Hypocrite piece of shit. What? They have the guys out there. Ronald Reagan actually sucks. Uh, David, what's your answer? <laughs> See, there's so the NPR pivot. The Always one an episode. Because I, I remember Ronald Reagan was an actor. Uh huh. So it was maybe a struggling actor. Oh, that's a good guess. Well, no unfortunately, this correct answer is not going to trickle down to you two. Uh oh. Uh, before he was president, this man was a lawyer, and before that, he was a bartender. Mr. Abraham wow. Lincoln was a what? bartender. <laughs> what? He had a liquor license and sold whiskey before becoming president. That is wow. exactly what I thought, boy. <laughs> yes. I can't wow. believe it. They didn't teach us more things in school. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. <Wow>. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Estonia created the highest alcohol content in a drink in the year 1918. <laughs> yeah, they did. What? <laughs> what percentage of the drink was alcoholic? And for a bonus point, woo, 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 bonus point, what was the alcohol made from? We're going A, 70%, B, 80%, C, 90%, or D, 98%. And for a bonus point, it was distilled from what? Hmm. Is it 98% like that's all alcohol? It's like romance. That's just pure ethanol. I know. I'll just read the questions. <laughs> I got my answer and my drink's empty, so I hope I'm Let's right. start over there, because they need it. D, potato. <laughs> D, potato. What, what's going on with the- interview? I sort of drew Abraham Lincoln, because I couldn't stop, <laughs> couldn't stop thinking about him. Yeah, I think it was the 98% with vodka. Estonia's close to Russia. Vodka. Potato. Potato. I said 80s, because I'm an 80s baby, but also made from potato. I said 90, and I also said potato. <laughs> <laughs> we all thought potato? So we all get a drink because it was potato. But that's the extra credit. Point, the extra right? credit does not earn a drink, it's just. You just said, a point. you promised. Yeah. I promised. 
Roll the tapes. What is it, potato? Well, let's start <laughs> with the bonus. Potato, it is potato. <laughs> potato. See, we all, yeah, we all got it. We all won. Yeah, read it. When Estonia was independent between the two world wars, the Estonian liquor monopoly marketed alcohol distilled from potatoes. That was 98%. No! Oh, Which is a 196 proof in US terminology. Oh, dude, that is crazy. It it's crazy. That would really hurt. Like, yeah, burn. that's burning. That's like oh, the, the strongest alcohol, like isopropyl alcohol you can buy. I didn't I think suck. it would actually be that. Well, I guess you can start making cocktails. That's why it's a... <laughs> From your isopropyl that's why alcohol. It's a, Cheers. <laughs> oh. Keith, you got some catch up to do. Keith I don't is know how. Double. Can I take the limo to my dinner? <laughs> Which of the following is not one of the effects of alcohol on the body? Hmm. Mm. Big, dick. <laughs> Big dick. Big <laughs> dick. Huge dick. Big dick. Yeah, Keith would know. Definitely not. A. Lower blood sugar. B. Anemia, which is the loss of red blood cells. C. Distorted hearing. I thought someone was gonna say what? Yeah, it would have been a good joke. Or D, raise your core temperature. You know, sometimes people get flushed. Yep, yeah, sure. So I'm gonna say lower, lower, higher core temperature. This True. is lower. Ned, I'm gonna need an answer. We're starting I think with you. Blood sugar probably could be right. Okay. All right, you're counting down. I'm Seven, gonna use all 10 seconds. Six, two, uh, one. Oh shit, okay, B. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even remember what B know. is? Well, I know that alcohol makes you flush, but that kind of opens your capillaries. So I feel like it actually is opening your blood vessels more to the outside. So that would make your body temperature cooler. I don't know. So I said temperature. Facial I kind of went off of experience. So I said D too. I usually get a little colder. You get cold. You get colder. Yeah, That's right, cold. boys. It makes you think you're getting hot, but in actuality, you're getting cold. Corn. Am I a f***ing idiot Raise over here? Corn Raise your said corn. corn temperature. Raise, Raise your corn, corn temp temperature. Raise Ned, your corn. Ned, you are the f***ing idiot over here. The <laughs> 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 yeah, answer is wrong. D. Uh, Let's get three drinks, and that brings us to the end I'll pass of on round mine. two. <laughs> <laughs> Woo I'll have Keith's drink. In last place, we have David Whoa. with four points. Ned and Matt are tied with five. Uh -oh. And Keith is running away with eight correct what points. The shit? I don't know, guys. You didn't even want to, you didn't, you didn't want to drink anything I today. Know. It's uh, sometimes life has different plans. As we head into the final round, I want to raise a toast to Zach Kornfeld. <laughs> He is strong and smart and sweet and cute, and oh we love God. him. I'll drink to that, shit. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Mm. I, would, I would like to toast wine. You know, wine is my favorite mm -hmm. alcoholic mm -hmm. beverage. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't have wine, what would life be? Welcome to wow. the final round in which we are <laughs> drinking mixed <laughs> drinks. Wow. Right now, Keith is ahead with eight points. So, for points. him to not win, he's gonna That's need to miss every single question. Question one. Which state consumes the most alcohol per capita? Oh, oh, there it is. A, Nevada. B, Florida. C, New Hampshire. D, Alabama. I mean, Alabama could be a dark horse because there's not many people in Alabama. And New Hampshire can off if that's the right answer, they can go. New Hampshire's this big. That's a good per capita argument, though. Well, I know, that's so what I mean. Tiny, I'm but big. they drink a lot. Beep. Beep. Oh, I mean, Beep. obviously, I'm oh, guessing no. Florida, Beep. no matter what. That was, this was all just an exercise. <clears throat> you, you think I'm gonna come out of this not Three, guessing Florida? Two. No. One. No. Pencils down. Florida. Uh, I said V for Vegas. Okay. Florida. I think Vegas, you consume the most alcohol per capita yeah. in Vegas. That's yeah. a really good guess. And David is changing his answer. I think What'd Vegas because I used to work there. Well, shit, and I saw dude. many a drunk people. I also went with Nevada, but specifically Vegas. I think that's where it is. Oh, fucking A. I was thinking that and you talked me out of it. Who did? Matt. But also. How did I talk you out of it? Did he? I'm from Florida, Florida so I'm guessing Florida. What if it was New Hampshire? Wouldn't we all be silly? Yeah, I would feel like a <laughs> bitch. Well, guess what? You're all silly little bitches. No. The answer is New Hampshire. Of course it was. Of course it f***ing was. Can you give us the first God back? damn it. New Hampshire had the highest consumption of alcohol with oh alcohol God. consumption per capita uh. of 4.76 <laughs> gallons. That's more than double the goal set for the United States. We set goals here? Good for us. Live free or get f***ed up. 
Which whiskey pioneer died after kicking his safe during a temper tantrum? It's a, wrong. Jim Beam. B, Jack Daniel. C, Captain Morgan. Right. Or D, John Jameson. Wow. John Jameson, Jingle High Whisper. His name was my name too. Jack Daniels yeah. is made in Tennessee, and kicking a safe sounds something like a Tennessean would do. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm going to go with Jackie D. <laughs> <laughs> Keith sharing his answer. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, Matthew, mm. what you got? So I went with JJ because my initials are MM. Mm. <laughs> so I figured that would be some good, the like, good Vegas luck. The you know? I think if it's misspelled that maybe one of our PAs wrote it wrong. So I went with Jack Daniels. Jack, Do you guys want a story? Jack is yeah. Wow. yeah. One morning in 1911, this mysterious whiskey pioneer showed up for work early and couldn't get his safe open. He flew off the handle mm. and he kicked that safe. And the kick was so ferocious this man injured his toe, leading to an infection mm -hmm. that would later kill him. Wow. That man. Sounds like something Jack That Daniel. fool resided in the great state of now. Tennessee. Yes, no. Jack yes, Daniel. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That is the rational. Everyone won but me. Let's get drinks for everyone but Matt. I, you know, Ow, it just. Thank you so much. much. Tennesseans, wow, Tennesseans love their safes. They hate government. They hate banks. They love having hate. a safe in the back of their house. I promise you. Mm. All Tennesseans you know, they've got a mattress full of cash. Cheers. Cheers. How much of this are they drinking? Hey, why don't Your we write our G's, G's like this? Lunch. This is a pretty funny way to write a G. What if G's look like this? It is illegal to drink more than three sips of beer while standing in a specific city of which state? A, Utah, B, Texas, C, Massachusetts, or D, North Carolina? I was gonna guess Kansas until it wasn't an answer. Or E, Kansas. All right, now I got my answer. Bonus point, if oh. you can name the city. Wow. I wanna say Utah, because they have a lot of laws there, yes. but I feel like it's too obvious. And this is the True. last round, so it's the harder, right? So it can't be Utah. Mm. I got mine. I, I mean, I don't know, Beantown. Yeah, Beantown. Boston. Some Boston. I also went with Massachusetts. But because Boston. of the fear of witchcraft, yeah. I went with Salem. Ooh. Ooh. Because Ooh. those witches, what are they up to standing up with all that beer? After three sips of beer, you shouldn't be able to stand up. Exactly. Sisters? <laughs> Sisters? <laughs> I think it's uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Well, I feel like Texas is f***ing crazy in general. I think so it's I like Texas? That was my other guess. The answer is Texas is f***ing crazy. F***ing crazy! F Texas and their Crazy laws. Texas, Texas, Texas. Welcome to the final question, and today we're doing Final Jeopardy. I'm going to give you the theme of the question, at which point you are going to wager how many points are on the line. If you get it right, you get that many points. If you get it wrong, you lose that many points. And if you lose your wager, you're not getting snacks. Huh? I thought the limo was the prize. We have snacks? The category is language. Uh, so you're not gonna tell me, reveal it yet, but you are going to put down how many points you are wagering. Definitely. Oh, David, you got a new drink. What is it? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's an old fashioned. Ooh. Ooh. A maple old fashioned. Would that be called a Canadian oh. old fashioned? We, we, could, we could throw that. Out That's there. what I would have gotten if I'd gotten the right answer. As a reminder, I'm David has six done. points, sure, Matt has fair. five, Ned has six, and Keith has nine. How many of your points are you going to wager? What is the meaning of the root word for alcohol? The root word for alcohol. Is it A, spiritual elixir? B, fine powder? C, harvest foam? Or D, cloaked bead? And as a bonus point, what language are we playing in? Matt, can I see how much you wagered? No, you have to weigh like everyone else. <laughs> You can't wager 25 points. You don't have 25 points. <laughs> I told you my strategy. <laughs> I need some respect. It all comes down to this. The final question. Who will get to ride home in a limousine? And who will take a ride share? Like a pathetic, pathetic loser. I at least want a point. I said spiritual elixir and a Latin, I don't know. I am going to go with a spiritual elixir and also from the root of Latin. Huh? <laughs> I guess harvest foam uh, in Greek 
What's the other one? Oh, I was just imagining Alcos. it was something called Alcos. And I also went with spiritual elixir. Oh my god, I could win. <laughs> and I put, oh my god. I put I did K. I don't know the language, I didn't care. And I don't think bonus points should be happening in a wager crowd. <laughs> the word alcohol comes from the Arabic term alcohol. I think that's how you pronounce uh, it. Arabic. Arabic. Meaning the fine powder. You all got it incorrect. Now, yeah. here's where it gets interesting. Oh boy! Now, Matt, you currently have five points. Yeah. What did you wager? <laughs> well, earlier you promised me <laughs> 20 points. Uh huh. So now I'm at zero. David, what did you wager? Um, because this game has been really amazing and truly honored for the chance to be here and world peace. I decided to wager zero. <laughs> Woo! So, David remains at six, six points. points. Ned? I wagered six. Oh my gosh. Ooh, which puts Ned down at zero, which means that David has six points. Keith currently has nine. Keith, what did you wager? I wagered only one. <gasps> Snacks for you! Yeah. We've got In and Out and we've got Little Caesars. But we're not done yet, Keith. Let's get in that limousine! That He's bringing us all home! He's bringing us all home! I got work to do, I should yeah. go. Oh. I should go. This has been another game of Tricky Trivia only on Try Guys Game Time. 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 Game Time.